Like many video editing software, you have a set of tools to edit your recordings and explain everything. The timeline is where you can see your audio and video and make adjustments. It will appear once you've ended a recording, but you can also show and hide it by clicking the timer. There are two lines called tracks, one for audio and one for video. You can lock and unlock them to prevent them from being altered or deleted while editing. The editing tools are above the tracks. The selection tool allows you to make smaller selections of the recording to export as separate video, delete, or trim recordings. The red line in the middle of the timeline is called the playhead. It marks the current time. You can drag the timeline back and forth to scrub through the recording to find the part you want to select. You can delete the selection entirely, which will leave a gap in the timeline. To delete a selection without the gap, use the Delete and Compact tool. It will shift the timeline to that point. You can also use the Delete From Here tool to delete everything after the playhead. If you need to split the recording in two, align the clip to the playhead where you want the cut and click Split. You can fade in your audio simply by selecting the clip you want to fade in and click the Fade In button. Below the tracks on the recording panel, there are recording modes. You can use them to either re-record or add new parts to the current recording. Mix mode is the default recording mode that allows you to layer recordings. You can do separate takes for audio, video, add animations, and even create various camera movements. Each take is a new recording on the timeline that can be moved around independently of each other. Overwrite mode will record over unlocked tracks in its path after the playhead. This is the mode you choose if you want to re-record part of a recording. You can use audio recordings to create quick animated clips to add to your lessons. Simply select the Mix Recording mode and either import a recording from the Add Media tool or make a new recording right on the canvas. Move objects around the canvas and use the tools to create an animation to accompany your audio. And the bell ringer for today is... And the bell ringer for today is...